When an aeroplane stalls, its engine doesn't stop, nor does the aeroplane fall out of the sky. So what is stalling all about? In flight, the lift generated by the wings is the product of local air pressure changes. Lower air pressure on top, pulling the wings up, and higher air pressure below, pushing the wings up. For demonstration purposes, these lifting forces can be combined to act from a single mean point shown here by the lift vector called the centre of pressure. In straight and level flight, lift equals weight and the airflow is smooth along the wings. As the angle of attack increases, the top airflow becomes turbulent and less effective at the trailing edge of the wings. Consequently, the lift vector moves forward where the stronger lifting air pressure system forms. Further increasing the angle of attack causes the top airflow to become more turbulent at the trailing edge and start to separate away from the wings. Most of the lift is now generated near the leading edge of the wings, thus the lift vector moves further forward, closer to the weight vector. Consequently, the aeroplane becomes less stable since the moment between lift and weight reduces. A stall occurs once the critical angle of attack is exceeded. The airflow on top of the wing breaks away, drag increases, and the lift force significantly reduces, no longer able to support the aeroplane's weight, which results in loss of altitude. In a stalled state, the lift vector shifts rapidly rearwards. Why does this happen? Just prior to the stall, the lift force generated by the airflow on top was focused near the leading edge of the wings. In a stall, however, the airflow above the wings no longer generates any significant lift force. Thus, the lift force vector returns to the rear. Furthermore, the higher air pressure system below the wings has an increased pushing force near the trailing edge, which contributes to the rapid shift of the lift force vector towards the rear. This shift aids in recovery from the stall due to the increased moment provided by the lift and weight couple, resulting in the nose pitching down. This graph represents the coefficient of lift which is the wing's ability to create lift versus the angle of attack. On a typical light aircraft, the stall occurs at about 16 degrees angle of attack. Why does the graph suggest that wings still have an ability to generate lift at negative angles of attack? It's because the high camber wing design common to a typical training aeroplane is still able to generate reduced air pressure on top of the wings to create lift, even at small negative angles of attack.